Good morning, dear students. Today you will learn lesson seven: Weather, Climate, and Adaptation of Animals to Climate of your NCERT Science Book. In this chapter, we will study about the weather and climate. We will also see how different forms of life adapted to the climate of their habitat. So let's begin, dear children. The first thing you notice when you wake up in the morning is the weather. because many of your daily activities are planned based on the weather predicted for that day there are daily reports of the weather on the television radio and in the newspaper this topic will help you understand what exactly weather is moreover it teaches us how it functions you will also learn about the elements of the weather it will successfully help you understand the complex phenomenon of weather and how it is unpredictable so let's see the definition of weather the day to day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature humidity rainfall wind speed etc is called the weather at a place the temperature humidity rainfall and wind speed are called the elements of weather the weather of a place changes day after day and week after week so weather changes almost every day it may change even during the course of the day it may rain for an hour in the morning and then become sunny and clear right after that because it is based on day to day condition of the atmosphere at a place any of this can vary over very short period of time Dear children, let us uh, do it or understand by an activity. If you open your book, NCERT book, in page number sixty-eight and sixty-nine, there is an activity seven point one. What it tells you that to collect the weather report of the week from the newspaper, record the information in the table seven point one in page sixty-nine. What do you observe? All the parameters. are not the same on any two days over a week there will be considerable variation so the weather of a place changes day after day and week after week the weather is such a complex phenomena that can it can vary over very short period of time so these weather reports are prepared by the meteorological department of the government Weather experts use computer technology and data from earth station and satellites to predict the weather. They collect data on basis of temperature, wind, etc., and make the weather prediction. And this is called weather forecasting. The weather forecast that helps you plan activities for a week is made by a meteorologist. A meteorologist is a person who studies the weather. So now let's study what causes changes in weather. All changes in the weather are caused by the sun. The sun is the source of all energy on the earth. Sunlight heats the earth but does not heat it evenly. The energy which is absorbed and reflected by the surface of the earth, the atmosphere and the seas and the ocean determines the weather of a particular place. So if you live near the sea you would have realized that the weather at your place is different from that of a place in the desert or in near a mountain So now children we'll study about maximum and minimum temperatures during a day You may have noticed that early mornings are quite pleasant even in summer As the day advances becomes warmer the slanting morning rays do not heat up the ground and air as much as the direct rays around noon do besides it takes some time for the ground and the air to become warm after the cool light so the maximum temperature for any particular day is reached sometime in the afternoon as the sun goes down and the earth radiates or gives off the heat the air starts becoming cooler it becomes the coolest sometime around dawn when the minimum temperature is reached so children the maximum temperature of the day occurs generally in the afternoon 
while the minimum temperature occurs in the early morning. The maximum and minimum temperatures are recorded with the help of a maximum minimum thermometer. So let's study about the instruments used to measure the humidity, rainfall and the spin speed. Before that, I'll give you the definition of humidity. Humidity means the dampness of air or the amount of water vapor in it. So let's study. The humidity is measured by hygrometer. These are the instruments required to measure all these. Rainfall is measured by rain gauge and wind speed is measured by anemometer. So that's all for today. Thank you.